Hey, it's Momo. Thanks for coming to watch my bullet journal setup for 2021. Um, this year I am in a Kanzo Noto from Jet Pens. It is a dot grid notebook full of Tomoe River paper. Um, I'm coming into this notebook out of a Hobonichi cousin. Um, God, this is going really fast. I had to speed this up um, like 12 times because this setup actually took me almost five hours. And like, it's not even that complicated. Um, I, I, like, it's, I don't think I can call it minimalist, but it's, I don't know, it's just kind of like whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, this practice is my word of the year and practice makes better is... Um, one of my favorite sayings that um, I kind of started saying when I was maybe 13 because it made more sense than practice makes perfect. Uh, so that's that's my, my guiding light for this year. Uh, right now I'm cutting down calendar stickers from Plant Based Brides sticker shop. Um, and yeah, here I'm I'm doing a two-page index. Um, I'm actually not really sure that this is gonna be enough. Typically in my bullet journals in the past, I've only used about two pages of, of indexes, but this notebook has, uh, I think like 320 pages. So I don't know if, if that's gonna be enough for the amount of pages, but I guess we'll find out and um, yeah. Here I'm doing the grid spacing cheat sheet, which I learned about from Amanda Rach Lee. Uh, just, you know, Google that or <laughs> look it up on YouTube and you'll find it. And uh, I'm doing my year in pictures, which I really liked doing last year. That was really fun. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing any super complicated paintings or anything this year. Uh, I just... Maybe it's it's 2020 uh, coming out of that. Um, I just don't have the energy to to really do that anymore. I'm I'm not into that life right now. <laughs> um, so I'm using one of those calendars as my mood and period tracker. So um, instead of doing my my year in pixels, I'm gonna be um, color coding my moods and um, you know putting them on this calendar overview and then I'm going to be circling in red when I have my period so that this way I can actually see if there's you know a correlation between when I get um when I get really depressed uh and when I have my cycle so uh yeah <laughs> um right now I'm making a an important dates spread I'm not really sure why I decided to make this because I don't think I'm going to use it. <laughs> so I'm, this other spread is 365 days of creativity. I want to try to do something creative every day. And so this is like the tracker for that. And this is going to be books read in 2021. my watch list and I got this idea from Amanda Rage Lee, I think. Date night bingo. I know this isn't the typical um, setup for a bingo card, but uh, I just wanted to make the, the best of my space. So, all right, so minimal cookie maxims is something that I've been wanting to do with my bullet journal for a couple of years now. I've been collecting um, fortune cookie fortunes since I was like 13. Um, we don't get Chinese food a lot, but whenever we would, I would keep the fortunes. So I, I've amassed quite a few. <laughs> um, I keep them in a Band-Aid tin that's, um, you know, the Lion King Band-Aid tin. Okay. So uh, I wanted to just pick pick ones that really resonated with me and keep them in my journal and then just recycle the rest. So, uh, yeah. So then this is my packages expected 
spread, which um, has been really helpful. Uh, I, I've had this in my um, Hobonichi weeks. So this, um, this spread is the Task Graveyard, which I originally started in my Hobonichi weeks, right um, when the pandemic started. Um, and so it's, it's for those tasks that um, maybe right now is not the right season for it, um, but you don't want to like forget about it. You don't want to eliminate it completely. You just don't really know when it's going to be the right time for it. So I just write those here and then I can resurrect them later. <laughs> and then this is the when did I last spread. Uh, again, I'm, I didn't use this a whole lot, but um, like in my first bullet journal, but um, I'm hoping to keep track of some of the things a little bit better this year. Um, this is the words to live by spread where I'm going to just put some quotes that I like. This is my my dog care spread. <laughs> this is just where I put the stickers from her heartworm pill. Um, so kids symptom trackers. I've got two. This is just the initial setup flip through and then I'm going into the January setup and I'm just referencing my cousin because I like the the layout. <laughs> uh, I th think the squares were five by five, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, again, I'm trying to do this as simply as possible because I'm actually, I actually set this up on like January third or something like that, and. Uh, yeah, it was just I wanted to use my <laughs> I wanted to use my journal, damn it, and it was not ready. Um, so here we have um, a homekeeping calendar from Clean Mama, and a decluttering bingo from the Secret Slob, and then this is my currently page for January. This is where I keep track of like what I'm listening to or really into and thinking about. I've been doing that um, every every month for a year, I guess. Um, and I'm going into the weekly spread and doing my favorite half horizontal. Um, yeah, it's a little... the spacing's definitely weird. Um, I don't really care, though. <laughs> um, I fix it in, in subsequent weeks, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I just kept it really, really simple because I was just not, uh, I just wanted to use my book. And for those of you wondering, those are, um, Happy Planner stickers. They're in one of those, like, giant mega book things that you can get on clearance at Michael's for, like, I don't know, 20, 10 bucks, something like that. I'm just filling in the calendar with my bills and uh, events. Spoiler alert, I didn't get any crap on eBay this month. <laughs> And yes, I am using two pencil boards because I am that bitch. And I'm just doing the final flip through backwards. <laughs> also, those stickers are from Ariel Hart on Etsy, and she's amazing. And here I am <laughs> I'm trying to see how to put this into my Chic Sparrow that I got from my parents for Christmas, and I just... Um, threaded the elastic through um, the clear cover and that is sugar from BTS and I made a, a traveler's journal uh, I tried putting those on Etsy and nobody wanted them <laughs> so I'm just gonna use them for myself uh, like you do 
and that is a pencil case from Muji, and that fits very nicely in there. And yep, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching!